There are a bunch of big questions in Call of Duty Zombies. Which map is the best map, how to turn on power, and how the hell does the zombie storyline actually work? But the biggest question of them all is, which is better, the M14 or the Olympia? In this video, I'm here to provide data on data on data on data on data before we start it's important to note that every gun deals multipliers depending where on the body you actually hit the zombie to make this video simple i will not be including any of the multipliers but simply focus on the base damage of each gun but to put it short the higher on the body you hit the zombie the better multiplier you will get in this video i will only be covering the m14 and the olympia so not the amnesia or the hades which are the pack a punch versions of the two if you want a video where I do that, however, just let me know down below in the comments and I'll make sure to do it. Let's start off with the Olympia. The Olympia is a semi-automatic weapon, loosely. I say loose because it only holds two shots per magazine. The Olympia's damage can be difficult to explain, but I'll try my best. The Olympia deals between 29 and 150 damage per shotgun pellet depending on the range. There are four pellets in one shot, hence the four X that you guys can see on the screen right now. So if all four pellets hit at a very close range, you damage the zombie 600 HP. For a comparison, around one zombie holds 150 HP. There is a round to HP calculator that I will leave a link to down below in the description if you are interested. Moving on from damage, the Olympia as stated before holds 2 bullets in a magazine. The entire gun has 38 rounds, so 40 bullets. The fire rate of the Olympia is 212 rounds per minute if you were to fire it non-stop, which is incredibly slow and easily makes it the slowest semi-automatic shotgun in the entire game. Now let's move over to the other side. The M14 is a semi-automatic rifle that deals between 80 and 105 damage per shot depending on the range. Per magazine, the rifle contains 8 shots and has a max ammo capacity of 104 shots. The fire rate of the M14 is 625 rounds per minute, which isn't too bad for a gun worth 500 points. So now that I've explained each gun, I'm going to put them up against each other side by side. The max damage of the M14 without any multipliers is 105. The max damage of the Olympia, however, is 600, which is a whole 6 times more than that of the M14. If all of your shots with the M14 are at a very close range, you deal a total of 10,920 damage. On the other side, if every single Olympia shot is at a close range and perfect and all 4 pellets in one shot hits the zombie, throughout your whole Olympia gun, you deal a total of 24,000 damage. The reason why this number is not 6 times larger is because of the fact that the M14 simply holds more ammo than the Olympia does. But damage is not the only important thing in zombies. How many points you get and how fast the rounds go by are also key factors when playing zombies. So I decided to spend 2 times 10 minutes on Town Reimagined using the M14 and Olympia. My goal is to see how far I can get by using each gun and how many points I end up with after the 10 minutes. I will not be picking up any power ups since a double points with let's say the M14 compared to not getting a double points with the Olympia will affect how many points I end up with in total. By the time of writing this, I've already done the experiment with the M14 where I only bought Quick Revive, so I'm gonna do that as well with the Olympia to even out the points. It's also important to note that I decided to knife all the zombies on round 1. Why I did that, I have no idea. Maybe it's just reflexes. One of the most important things that I haven't touched on up until now is the range of each gun. Because when you're playing town, it's not an optimal idea to get too close to the zombies just to kill them since they are lava zombies and literally explode when you kill them. So a gun with a good range is very important. Right now I'll show you guys the very end of each experiment, how far I got in 10 minutes and how many points I racked up with the M14 and with the Olympia. So let's just start with the M14. And there we go. It's over. Okay, we got 9.6k. I'm going to... Okay, great. 9.6k, 9 hold on. Um, I need to write this stuff down. Round 7, 9.6k. We gained Quick Revive as our only perk. Now, as you guys can see, we gained a lot of points by just using the M14. Now, let's compare that with only using the Olympia. Boom. Boom. Yep, this is the last zombie. C can we do it? No! We didn't manage to do it. Oh my god, you're kidding me? Well, I'm just gonna say round 7. So yeah. 
that was a bit underwhelming. The fact that we only just barely got to round 7 and that we didn't even get anywhere near the 9.6k that we got before. This time we only ended up on 5.8k and on basically the same round. So we can basically conclude that the M14 is faster to kill zombies and you also gain more points by killing zombies with the M14. So why would you even go ahead and use the Olympia in the first place when it doesn't even give you near the same amount of points as the M14 in 10 minutes and it doesn't even get you to the same round as the M14 does? In Zombies you want as many points as fast as possible because you're not only gonna survive with the Olympia and the M14 and one thing that I also want to touch upon with the Olympia is that it is a one shot kill, I know that up until round 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 if all 4 pellets hit it's a one shot kill. But the problem with that is that it's not always that all four pillars hit the zombies. I've compiled a bunch of clips just from these 10 minutes where I can show you guys where I was pretty close to the zombies on round five and I, and I didn't even get a one shot kill. Round four, let, let's test the Olympia from here. Okay, it's still one shots from that distance. What about here? No. And that's why the MR6 is so good because you can stand over here and just like essentially three shot a zombie and you don't need to reload all the goddamn time and you also gain more points all right so i'm gonna test the range of the m14 i'm gonna go with this zombie one two three three shots just to die on round four and from here we don't even one shot with the olympia so the range of the m14 is better you get more points you don't have to reload all the goddamn time because as we have established, the rounds per minute is significantly higher with the M14 than it is with the Olympia. So you also go by rounds much, much faster. The reason why you don't always... Like, see, even there, I didn't even one shot. But the reason why that you don't do that is because that all four pellets have to hit the zombie. So if you essentially shoot a zombie in the arm, it's not going to deal any damage. You can see here again, I'm going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... That was five shots. I cannot hit a zombie with the Olympia from even from here. Okay, I did hit it, but let's try again here. Yeah, it, now it's even more than two shots when I just do it from like just a slight range. Not even a, a, a huge range, but just like medium range. It's still like three shots. And as we've also concluded, which is just a basic fact, is that the M14 holds more ammo than the Olympia. So you have to buy ammo more frequently for the Olympia. And I don't want to hear the argument that, well, if you go beyond round 10 and round 15, because there's no point in that, because who really uses the Olympia and the M14 beyond round 10? Who even uses them beyond round 5? These are two weapons that you use as starter weapons to rack up points and get kills so you can get better weapons. They're not weapons that you legitimately use to play the game. Unless your name is Russian and you're doing some weird ass challenge video where you try to get round 50 with an M14 or an Olympia. No one other than him does that. So which gun is better? The M14 or the Olympia? And I will have to say the M14. Honestly, going into this video, I had no background history with the Olympia or the M14 because I was never really affiliated with the gangs. I always saw the two guns as bad weapons, and they are bad weapons. So I just never really picked them up. When I was playing Black Ops 2 Zombies, I was way too young for all this M14 Olympia gang. I wasn't on the internet and stuff like that. I just wanted to play zombies. So I have no bias going into this. But as we've concluded, the M14 is the better gun. And again, you can make like some cases and some arguments like well if you're playing up until round something something but no one's doing that when you want to play zombies you want a quick game where you go by rounds really fast and you also want to rack up points and the best way to do that is by using an m14 but before we end this video i will need to do some special thanks to puppet lad on reddit i will leave a link down below to the post that i made on reddit asking how the damage system actually works on the olympia because it made me a little bit confused. And Puppet Lad, he explained it pretty well. And he actually helped me out making this video. I never talked to him or anything, just the two comments that he made. Those helped me out a ton, so special thanks to him and everyone else who has commented on this post. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the very next video.